So to start modeling the fish, um, I'm going to use a sphere. So I'm going to click right over here on the polygon sphere. And then I want to rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis. So I'll take this rotate z and type in negative 90. And then let's move this over to where the eye is. And let's go back to window and rendering editors hypershade. And let's create one more material here. And let's double click on this. We'll call this transparent matte. And then I'll change the color here. I don't know. Blue is fine. Bump up, bump up the transparency. And then I'm going to drag this material onto the sphere. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my wireframe on shaded. So right now, the only time you see the wireframe on the object is if it's selected. But if I click on this button right here, then I can see the wireframe at all times. All right, so I'm going to go back over here and turn on my channel box visibility, select the object, and right now we've got too much geometry. We've got too many faces on this sphere. So let's go down to Polysphere 1, and let's change the subdivision axis to 12, and let's change the subdivision height to 6. There we go. This is a little bit more manageable. All right, so let's zoom in over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'll press R for my scale tool. And I'm going to scale this sphere in so that it kind of matches up with the body area over here. All right, let's see. I'm going to tap the space bar and let's scale up a little bit here. And I'll go back over here and scale this in some more. So I'm going to go in and scale um, on the y-axis. Now that cube on the scale tool is red, and that's because we rotated our sphere 90 degrees. Um, but anyways, you're just going to scale so that you're matching up the um, object with the shape of the eye, as you can see right there. I'll just move this over slightly. And then what I'm going to do is I will right click, go to vertex, and I'm going to start to move sections out a little bit. Maybe move this over a tiny bit. All right. Okay. Let me take this down slightly. Okay. All right. So we kind of sh have shaped the head, and now we'll extrude out the body. So I'm going to right click and go to face, and I'll press Q for my selection tool, and I'm going to select these faces back here. So that should be six total. I'll press extrude. And then I'm going to press W for my move tool. I'm going to move this out. And have press R for my scale tool. Scale it in a little bit. Before I go any further, I think I'm going to take these two faces here and just scale them out a little bit, just to round out the shape a tiny bit. Let's see, I'm going to turn off my reference images for a moment. And I'll press F to frame this. Let's take a look at our shape here. I'm just going to bring this out a little bit.
and maybe take these uh, vertices here and here and scale them in a tiny bit. Okay. So I'm going to go back to face mode and select these six faces again. And I'll turn my reference images back on and let's extrude out again. So I hit extrude. See my blue arrow is kind of going out at an angle so I'm going to press W from a move tool and then I'll just extrude back. And then I'll hit R and then use the scale tool to scale down here. And then I'm going to scale this stuff together right here. Press W, move this down a little bit. And um, let's scale this in, in the top panel a little bit. Let's shape this. And actually, let's right click, go to vertex, and scale these in a tiny bit. Let's scale this in even more. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this set of vertices right here and move them up slightly. I move these up. And now I'm going to select everything on the bottom of the fish. Well, not everything, but quite a few faces down here on the bottom. So let's see. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten faces selected on the bottom. And I'm going to press extrude, press W and move these faces down. And then I'll come in and go to vertex and move these to fit the outline. Okay, let's take all of those faces that we extruded. And let's scale them in a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to, let's see here. I'll take these four faces where the mouth should be and hit extrude. And then I'll hit W. I'm going to move these out. Hit R and scale them in. Kind of just adjust these. Let's see here. Let's go to vertex, select these vertices. All right, now. Let's see, let's take these two vertices and scale them in a little bit. Maybe move them down. Okay. 
I'm going to press Q, right click, go to face, and I'll select these two faces right here. I'm going to hit extrude and move these faces out and then scale them in. Press Q. I'm going to select these two faces down here. I'll press extrude, move them out, click on any of these boxes, and then scale in. Okay, in the next video in this series, we will model the tail fin.